Today on Flipping Science, we're talking about isotopes. So what is an isotope? So an isotope is when we're comparing two atoms, they have the same atomic number, but they have a different mass number. And the reason why they have a different mass number is because they have either more or fewer neutrons than a regular atom would have. So let's talk about um, hydrogen, for example. So most hydrogen, if we looked at the hydrogen nucleus, there's a proton. And then if we look at the electrons, uh, we've got one electron zooming around it like that. So that's the nucleus of a regular hydrogen. So we call that hydrogen 1, 1. Okay, so 1 is the atomic number, uh, 1 is the mass number. Um, some hydrogen has a proton and a neutron in the nucleus. And again, one electron flying around. So this has a proton and a neutron. So it has extra mass um, in the nucleus. The atomic mass of this would be twice as much because the mass of protons and neutrons are around about the same. Um, so this is hydrogen 2. And then we've got, we could have hydrogen 3. It's got a proton and two neutrons joined together. And again, still one electron at the top. Um, so this is hydrogen 3. Okay, so two neutrons, one proton, total mass of three, because we've got three things in the middle. Um, and that's our three types of hydrogen. Now, this is the most common, and these two are fairly rare. The reason why these different isotopes of hydrogen are important is because um, they can be used for different things. They react exactly the same chemically. Because they have a single electron, they are going to react the same way that all hydrogen does. But you're going to get different water molecules, for example, that have an extra neutron present. So we call that heavy water when there's extra neutrons because the water has more neutrons in the nucleus. So overall, you have heavier water. Heavy water is used in many nuclear applications. So each of these hydrogens has the same number of protons in the nucle nucleus. They all have one uh, proton. And because of that, they all react the same because they have the same number of electrons. But in terms of um, their mass, that's different. They have different physical properties, they have a different mass because of the different number of neutrons present in the nucleus. We're going to have a look at some examples in carbon in a second.